Welcome back to the session on Latin. In the last two sessions, we have learned about the page layout features in Latin. Here we have seen how to define different paper size, set margins, and customize page layout. In today's session, we will learn some major. In today's session, we will learn some more page formatting features. Uh, how to set the orientation. There we will see how to change the orientation of the entire document or particular section in the document. Then we will learn how to add the page breaks. And then we will learn how to insert the footnote. Orientation of the page refers to the direction in which it is displayed. There are usually two types to display the page orientation. Landscape which is horizontal and portrait which is vertical. By default, the orientation of the document is always portrait. In the portrait orientation, the height is larger than the width. Whereas in landscape, it's vice versa. Width is larger than the height. This type of orientations is helpful when we have a table with multiple columns or we have an image, etc. Now to change the orientation, we need to use the command backslash use package and there in the square bracket we will define our orientation requirement and we will use the package geometry. Now if you want to change the orientation for the particular section then we will write our content in these two commands. Begin landscape followed by our content where we want to change the orientation and then followed by the end landscape command. To change the orientation of the particular section, two packages use backslash use package lsk by which you can rotate the content by 90 degree and then backslash use package pdf lsk where you can rotate the page by 90 degree. Let's see a demo. Here we have some basic commands. We have defined the document class article and begin document followed by the end document. We have, we have heard of lorem ipsum. It is used to add some dummy random text. And to add this text we use the package called lipsum package. So let's add this package. By using this package, we can generate some random text. Right? So, we have a begin document and then we will write. Let some square bracket 1 to 8. Now what this 1 to 8 means here, we are generating 8 paragraphs and these all are just random dummy text we are generating. So here we have seen we have generated some random text. Now coming back to the orientation, so let us use the package landscape. So we are using use package, we are using a package called geometry and we are using landscape. Let's recompile. Now 
Now here you can see the orientation of our content become in it's showing in the landscape mode. Let me zoom a little bit for you for the better readability. So here you can see. Now let's just delete the landscape and we'll see how our document looks like now here it's the portrait mode which is a by default mode now let's write again the landscape and recompile So it is in the landscape mode. Now if I want to change the orientation of the particular section, for that we need to add the sections. So let us add some sections. Section. Let's name it to introduction. And then add some dummy random paragraphs. Next, I want to add two paragraphs, right? Now, let's add some another section. Section named as details and let's add lipsum and let's add three paragraphs. Now recompile. Here you can see easily, here is our first section called introduction, then second one is details. Okay, now let me make it to So here we get four paragraphs in the section details. Now let's comment out this package and now let us suppose we are changing and now I want to change the orientation of the section named as retail. For that, first we need to add use package and skip and then and then we need to write begin landscape. So let me add this part. In between this command, and I just simply delete it from this. Now recompile. This is our first section introduction, and 
Here you can see the second section it get rotated by 90 degrees. So this way you can change the orientation of the particular section. Now if you want to rotate the page by 90 degree, you will use the command use package PDF escape. So let me copy this command and then and just comment out this and pre-compile so this is our first page and this is our second page so here you can clearly see this is how the second page this is the page numbering two. This is our second page, how it looks like, and this is our page one. So here the difference is clearly visible. The page is rotated. Well, the L scape and the PDF L scape, they both are same, but when printed, it helps when one want to read it on the screen. So PDF L scape is the better option. Now our next part is page break. So if you want to start the paragraph or the content with the new page, you have to use the command backslash, backslash page break or backslash new page. So let's see the demo. So let me Delete and comment out this command. So, this is our by default portrait mode. And here we can see the introduction section, detail sections. Okay, so I want that the section two, which is the detail section, has to be start from the next page. So what I'll do for this, we just simply use a command page break. We compile. This is my page first. Let me. This is my page one. Page one. And the second section, which is the detail section, is started from page two. Now, the last part of the today's session is how to add the footnote. Footnote basically convey more information about certain statements that we want to write in a document. They are added using the footnote commands. And to add the footnotes, we use the syntax backslash footnote and the information which is need to be displayed at the footnote we have to write over here. Right? Let's see a demo. Now let us suppose I want to write a footnote after my section introduction. So what I'll do, I'll just add the content. For example, details of Authors are mentioned at last page. Then I will use 
command footnote and then you will write refer to the last page for details now let's compile and see so this is our first page let me zoom here you can see details of the authors are mentioned at the last page and at the bottom we got the footnote one refer to the last page for detail suppose i want to add more footnotes so let's say affiliation affiliation can be seen on the first page now i will add the footnote footnote refer to first page recompile So here it is also present in the text. Affiliation can be seen on the first page and which is refer which is represented by two. So here first is the refer to the last page for the detail, which is the first footnote we have added, and the second one is refer to the last page. So this footnote basically added at the bottom. Of the page. So this is how we have learned how to set the footnote. So this is all about this session. See you in the next session. Thank you.